This is my homemade 48 volt electric bike. How's that look? No? Well, let me try again. Rip up the engine! Never mind. How about this? Today I'm going to talk about something new. Batteries. Specifically, the Cobalt 24 volt battery for electric bikes. These batteries are the same batteries I use for my Cobalt tools like drill, impact drivers. These are 10 amp hour each, 24 volt, and I made them in 2017. That was about six years ago. And Cobalt don't make this kind of battery. The maximum capacity at the time was about 4 amp hour. And at the time I made it, it was six years ago, it was the world's biggest power tool batteries. It's been six years and I've gone through about 2,000 miles with these batteries. They do have some decoration and the range is not as good as it once was. It's time for me to upgrade with a new battery. And before I do the upgrade, I wanted to make a video to share with you what it's like to run an electric bike with power tool batteries. What are the advantages and the disadvantages, the pros and cons, if you will, of using power tool batteries for an electric bike? Let's talk about the advantages of these batteries. The first advantage is that it's easy to make. This is a 10 amp hour battery and all I have to do is to stack five 2 amp hour batteries together in parallel I remove the BMS board from the four batteries and keep just one BMS board from one battery and I just solder them all together in parallel and voila I have an e-bike battery ready to go. There's no need to buy and install a separate BMS board because it's already inside here. There's no need to buy a separate charger either because I can just use the original cobalt charger to charge the battery. But the amount of money I save is negated by the cost of buying all of these batteries because they are a lot more expensive than other types of batteries. And that's the disadvantage of these batteries. They are very expensive. However, sometimes retailers who sell these batteries have them on sale and if you can get a good deal when they are on sale then you can really take advantage of these batteries to use them for your e-bike. The second advantage of using a power tool battery for an e-bike is because they are power tool batteries. I can still use them for my other tools when I'm not riding my bike. This battery is a bit too heavy for handheld tools like an impact driver or a drill. But for a heavy duty tool like a miter saw, tools that you don't have to hold on your hand this battery is perfect. I use this 10 amp hour battery with my miter saw when I need to cut big pieces of lumber. I used to have a 4 amp hour on this saw and the battery tends to heat up a lot under high load. But with the 10 amp hour battery on the miter saw, it cuts faster and the battery stays cool even under high load. And it lasts a lot longer. And for other tools which you don't have to hold on your hand, like a fan here, this battery will last a very long time. And not only does it last longer, you get more run time, it also gives you more power, more current. So for a power hungry tool like this on here, it can put out five times more current compared to a 2 amp hour battery. The third advantage of using a power tool battery for an e-bike is its versatility and flexibility. What I mean is because they are 24 volt batteries, I can use them for other EVs that have different voltage requirements like a 24 volt electric bike, scooter or go-kart. Here is my other electric bike that requires only 24 volts instead of 48 volts. So I can just use one of these batteries to power this e-bike. I can even use them for a 72 volt electric scooter. All I have to do is to put three of these in series and voila I have a 72 volt battery for my 72 volt electric scooter. 
Let's talk about the disadvantage of these batteries. I already talked about the first disadvantage is the cost. They are expensive. The second disadvantage is capacity or range in terms of EV. These batteries are high discharge batteries. The main goal is to put out a lot of current in a very short amount of time. But the price you have to pay for is capacity. You just can't have everything. You have to sacrifice the capacity to get more power output. An equivalent 18650 low discharge cells of the same size has about 3.5 amp hour capacity. The cells inside this battery is only 2 amp hour. And yes, there are 3 amp hour high discharge cells nowadays. But at the time these batteries first came out 7 years ago, 2 amp hour is the highest capacity you can get. The third disadvantage of using power tool batteries for an e-bike is battery degradation. These batteries are meant to put out a lot of power in a very short amount of time so their life expectancy is not too great. It's like a rock star that lives fast and dies young. These batteries degrade very fast. When I first put them on my e-bike, I got an average about 15 miles per charge. Now after 6 years and 2000 miles, I get about 11 miles. That means they have degraded down to about 75% original capacity. So these are the pros and cons of using a power tool batteries on an electric bike. I also tried to install an extra 12 volt 10 amp hour connected in series with these batteries to increase both the voltage and capacity of the whole pack. Now it's a 15S battery pack instead of 12S. My max speed with a 15S pack is about 35 miles per hour instead of just 30 miles per hour with a 12S pack. In theory, with more batteries, you get more range. But in this case, not only do we get more batteries, I also get more voltage. So I tend to ride faster than usual and that reduces my range. So the only thing I gain by adding a small pack in series is speed, not range. This pack is made of 6 Tesla Model 3 270 cells. Each cell is capable of putting out 10 amp continuous discharge. It's got 2 in parallel, so 20 amp continuous discharge, which is a lot lower than this, which put out about 100 amp continuous discharge. But the reason why I can use this with this is because first, they're connected in series. And most importantly, reason number 2, my bike only requires 20 amp continuous discharge. So this pack is perfect for this application. I want to upgrade with a new battery pack that can give me both longer range and speed. So I'm going to upgrade my e-bike with a Nissan Leaf battery pack instead. And I'm going to show you that in my next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.